factors I think about when approaching a treatment plan for a patient is to understand, is this treatment for, for cure? Are we able to cure this patient? Is that our goal? Or um, are we in a situation where we know that the cancer is going to be incurable, but we can prolong that individual's life and, and improve the quality of life that he, that he has? That is a major breakdown or, or um, separation point in how we approach treatment. Once we figure that out, we can try to sort through um, among all the choices, if we're going to use curative treatment to the prostate itself, what do we, what do we think is best for you as, a, as an individual man and what do we think is possible um, from a medical perspective, whether that's radiation or surgery or even just watching and waiting and with an active surveillance plan um, there may be choices. Uh, and, and similarly, with metastatic prostate cancer or advanced prostate cancer that's incurable or not able to be cured, um, what are the medical treatments that we can use and what are the choices that the, the man wants to make, you as a, as a man with prostate cancer want to make to really um, maximize your benefit, thinking through what's important to you, what barriers do you have, um, and, and how do you want to, to go through your treatment sequence. We're actually really fortunate in prostate cancer care to have many choices, whether it's in treating localized curable prostate cancer or in treating metastatic prostate cancer that we're really trying to treat to prolong life and improve quality of life. In each setting, in most cases, there are multiple choices to make along the journey. Um, sometimes these, these choices would, um, would exclude other choices in the future, um, but sometimes they don't. Sometimes you can choose A or B because in a few months you're going to have the opposite option available to you. So exactly what your choices are going to be are, are going to be important for you to speak with your doctor about, but having those choices really empowers men to get engaged in each of these treatment decisions to explain this is my preference for that side effect or, or this particular toxicity, and I'm gonna choose this treatment because, because it, works best, um, it works best for me because I can get to work or because it doesn't lead to incontinence or because it doesn't cause me to lose my hair or whatever the reason is, men's preferences can be so, um, so importantly incorporated into the treatment decision because we have all the choices we have in treating prostate cancer. Thank you.